Hey, how's it going guys? This is Solomon17. I apologize for not making videos again for a long time because I've been kind of busy and uh, I have to work on my new draw drawing for my comic. I have to finish drawing my villains and then I'll be done and afterwards I will be have more free time to do stuff. But anyways, the reason why I'm do doing this video... Uh, Man, I really did not want to talk about this because I didn't want to sound like a broken record, but... Uh, hey, have you guys noticed a game called... Stellar Blade that just came out and... And as you guys know the title of the video... Censorship and... Why? Why are... Nowadays we live in a world where people are so goddamn sensitive that they cannot handle things like uh, sexual content or uh, or violence or whatever. And not, not that kind of violence. I mean, I don't know, man. Like, it's crazy that we live in a world where creative freedom is not allowed to the point we need to censor things. Especially for products that are clearly made for adults. I mean, I could give you a few examples of adult video games I played for years. Um, the Grand Theft Auto games. Wait. <laughs> God damn it. Wrong one. Wait. Gran Turismo 3. I, wait. I kind of messed up. <laughs> the Grand Theft Auto games. See the label? See the labels, the age ratings for these games? Do you see them? See them? Damn. I don't know how the camera sometimes works. 18 plus. Which means those games are made for adults. And the, because the games are made for adults... Uh, shit. Developers are allowed to put adult content in those games. Sexy woman, yes. Uh, s uh, other stuff, yes. Because it's adult content. And we now we live in a time where censorship is becoming the norm. And I see this as a bad thing. Because a lot of people are trying to defend censorship. And I... Why? Why are you defending censorship? And it's not just video games, it's also movies, TV shows, and now even they try to target anime and say, Oh my god, it's inappropriate, it's a child, it's a this and that, and I'm like, Dude, shut up, it's not made for you, it's made for people who enjoy this kind of content, and the fact that people are, the fact that people are thinking of, the, looking at these games and think, Yes, we need to censor this. It is so dumb because I love video games. I always will love video games and I always love video games and I will always will. But the problem is with gaming nowadays is the fact that people are trying to make censorship as a norm. Like it's a normal thing. Like censoring adult oriented games is so dumb because we live in a time where people are so sensitive that they cannot handle, like, women looking uh, actually attractive. We can't have that. No, no, no. But they do it because... Well, they... <laughs> I can't speak, man. Oh, my God. I'm gonna drink some water. I apologize. <clears throat> I'm so I'm sorry my mouth get, gets dry really fast. Oh my god. Um where was I? Oh yeah, censorship is just I think it's so fucking stupid because we live in a time when people can't handle stuff like that is clearly made for adults and they're acting like oh we're superior, we know everything. And I ask, why do you keep censoring stuff? That is clearly not made for the target audience. Nowadays, everyone has this uh, like stupid mentality. Oh, think of the children! If you know this reference, uh, then you know. 
and some will somebody please think of the children and I'm like not every I hate the fact that nowadays we live in a time where think people think entertainment has to care towards just kids and especially when it comes to animation or or um uh, or even video games or movies or whatever. Nowadays everything has to be kiddified and safe. And I don't like that because and because of that I always go back um, playing older content, uh, watching older movies and TV shows. Like, it's, it's this kind of stupidity that we live in where people just think, oh yeah, we can't have this and that because it's uh, problematic, it's offensive, it's this and that. And... And like I said, I hate being being a broken record, but this is the world we live in nowadays, where people can't handle like adult themes. They can't handle like a sexy woman existing in a, in fiction. It's like everything must be watered down, and everything must be safe. Everything must be political. Everything must be the. Everything needs to cater to the small niche audience that doesn't even buy games or the, the products you're trying to censor or um, or try to make uh, for that audience. And even Nintendo has been censoring stuff like lately. Like for example, they released like the remake for Paper Mario, and uh, the, the the Paper Mario game that came out for the GameCube, and they censored a line, basically they changed the line that was originally in the game, they basically changed it, they rewrote it, and be like, oh yeah, this is not gonna offend anyone. They're literally, like, they changed a line to, for bad guys who were being, like, really bad people, and they changed the name to make it more... Politi politically correct and I'm like why why do you do this and the problem is Nintendo fans like Nintendo fans are gonna still eat, eat this game up and be like we don't care we don't give a shit like Nintendo fans I feel like just don't care if the game is bad or not they just gonna keep buying Nintendo products because it's Nintendo they can do nothing wrong and then I'm like no, that's not true. They still do bad, bad, uh, bad decision, like bad uh, business decisions, and and that's it. And I don't like the fact that we live in a time where uh, people need to censor everything, especially old content. And because of that, I always try to buy uh, content or games or movies or whatever in their original format and uh, basically try to buy them for their for games for example i try to buy physical copies for uh, ps2 and ps3 games in the original format uh, in, that came before that came for the original hardware of course there's pc because pc gaming yeah, like is superior or whatever but uh, my computer is not strong enough, so I have to buy some games that on uh, for the PS3 that I that I cannot play or run on my uh, PC because of was also Windows 10 and not allowing some game some old games to be played on the uh, on the computer despite the fact that my computer or AKA laptop can run the game and yeah it's just been crazy lately with the way things are with entertainment and. I do not like it. Uh, it's just all their entertainment has always been like big part of my childhood. I still love the first Jurassic Park movie. I still love the original Ratchet and Clank games. I still love the original Dead Space games. I still love the original. Well, I have I have played GTA 3, but I haven't gotten far into the game. But uh, I still love the original GTA games, uh, especially Vice City and San Andreas, and even GTA 4 and. Um, I still love playing Dirt 2, Colin McRae's Dirt 2, Need for Speed, the old Need for Speed games, and many other things. Because the the one thing I liked about those game games even nowadays is the fact that they're fun games. Uh, people just developers just well and all out try to experiment many many different things and did not care about offending anyone or whatever. They just made things that were fun, that were enjoyable for people. Uh, that buy these games and want to play them and nowadays it's just 
And the same thing with mov for movies and TV shows. I still love the old Cartoon Network shows like Ed and Eddie uh, that has a lot of adult jokes that uh, like passed through my head when I was a kid. But when I'm older, I appreciate the show even more. Uh, even despite the fact that even though it's a, it's a show that was originally aimed at kids, uh, I still enjoy older movies like a lot of my favorite films i grew up with came out came from the 80s and those were robocop terminator films um what else um die hard uh robocop uh, predator alien and many other movies that came out in the 80s also john carpenter's the thing and many others and uh, i grew up with that stuff because Back then, it wasn't about like, oh, we're afraid to offend people or we're afraid to show scary things or whatever. No, people tried their best to make a good film or movie and uh, and they made those films for that intended audience. I watched Jurassic Park when I was little because I was really obsessed with dinosaurs. I still love dinosaurs even today. I don't, uh, I'm not a big fan of the whole, oh, dinosaurs need to have feathers because it's more realistic and I'm like, Dude, they're just, they're, they're extinct creatures. Let people just go with with them being giant lizards. Stop giving them about, oh yeah, there were birds originally, so we're going to give them feathers. It looks, it makes the dinosaurs look weird and lamer, uh, I, in my personal opinion. Uh, uh, for me, uh, it's just, it's just my own p opinion. But still, we live in a time where censorship is just becoming more of the norm. And that's not a good thing because it basically really like restricts more and more people with uh, creative freedom uh, about what they want to make and whatnot. And, uh, b and because of that, I'm not a big fan of modern kids shows as well because they feel so watered down. Like, for example, they make girl characters look less feminine and they try to make them look more like uh, boys like for example uh, again I'm gonna make that comparison and people can get mad if all they want but for example Luz uh, Dakota from the Owl House uh, when you look at Luz's design for the first time a lot of people would think about will <laughs> would think that she is a dude dude rather than a girl because her design is not fe it, it doesn't look feminine it doesn't look like a girl's body honestly and when the series move goes further and further she looks more like a boy and uh, people are gonna say oh you're uh, you're you're against uh, tomboys or whatever no i'm not against tomboys heck Anime has a lot of tomboys, but at least with anime, they still try to make the tomboy girls still look feminine. They still make them look visually uh, different from the male from the males because that's how human human autonomy works. Like women have big breasts, they have big butts, uh, they have slimmer bodies because. Of course, not all of women are like uh, don't look like that, but a lot of them do because they because visually you can tell the difference. That they are women. They're uh, they're women. They're female, and uh, because of their visual appearance, you can tell the difference who is who. Nowadays, uh, entertainment, especially in the West, they just tr they try to make more female characters uh, m look more like. Uh, to, like the the boys like they try to make them more like men and that's not like and because of that like like people are so confused like like i said I, again i try to make the loose compare the loose uh, comparison like uh when people first time see her character design a lot of people would think she's like at the very least, uh, like a boy, a eight-year-old or ten-year-old boy, but of course they go uh, all out and say, "Oh, she's 14," and I'm like, "Really? She's 14? She looks like 10 or eight years old, man. I don't buy that. She at least looks 12 at the very least. Like uh, the fact that they try to make even teenage girls look less." Uh, feminine and it, it just boggles the mind honestly like uh when i if i ever make that dream come true that is um uh, for me i try to i want to make my female characters look uh, especially since a lot of my female villains 
are if, uh, uh, a lot of, are teenagers. I want to make them look feminine. I want to make them look like they look like girls, man. Like the fact that people are offended, the fact that the women have breasts, it's like. It's so dumb. Like, they, these people have never been outside, never seen a real woman in their life, and they're just like, oh, you never seen a real woman in life. I've been, like, to six different schools, and a lot of those, and I've been to elementary and high school and even in college. Well, okay, college is not the best comparison, but in elementary school, uh, or not elementary, I mean middle school. Oh my god, my brain is confused. Wait a minute. F f first to fourth grade is elementary school, fifth to ninth grade is middle school, and 10, uh, 10 and to 12th grade is uh, high school. Okay, but I've been to middle school and high school. I'm not and I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sometimes really confusing a lot of words. Uh, it happens sometimes. Um, uh, I've been to middle, middle school and high school. And I was like, because I was studying there, because I was a student. But even in middle school and high school, I met girls that have good looking bodies. They have feminine looking bodies and... Some of them even had big breasts, and I'm like, that's ha just how human autonomy works. Like, uh, girls uh, have different, like, when girls hit puberty, their uh, bodies change differently compared to the man's. Like, not all girls, uh, of course, not all girls have uh, big breasts or whatever, but uh, the fact that people are not understanding how human autonomy works nowadays is just, it boggles the mind. Like, they think, oh, the teenagers and uh, teenagers teenage girls don't look like that like have you ever seen a teenage girl man like I'm not saying all teenage girls all look that like in the anime like in anime of course they always like over exaggerate the proportions of female characters especially high school girls but uh, it's anime it's fiction it, it's it doesn't have to be always realistic. Like I'll, uh, if, nowadays, I hate the fact that everything has to be realistic. Everything is has to be cinematic. What blah blah blah. Like the the reason why I'm not into modern video games as much as many other people are nowadays is because for me, being a cinematic game, just having walk, walk slow walking sections, and everything must be like unskippable cutscenes, uh, more slow walking sections, characters just talking about their feelings, it's not fun. What is fun is driving around as a is a as a crazy psychopath running over pedestrians, jumping out of the cars, uh, driving a tank, blowing up uh, uh, cars, uh, flying around in a plane, uh, creating chaos with as many weapons as uh, as imaginable. That is fun. Walking slowly, walking, doing basically nothing. Enemies not showing up for like 15, 30 minutes. That's not fun. This is what I hate about like these. The censorship thing as well, like, th why are you censoring things that are clearly made for adults? Like, I hate this mentality where they think, oh, we're right, you're wrong. Censorship is not okay because it it restricts people from their creative freedom. There, it is restricting people to be more creative, be more open-minded, to be creative. Nowadays, it's just about, oh, think of the children. Oh, think of this and that. It's like, it's so stupid. Let people make what they want. If you don't like it, then don't watch it. But of course, they're going to keep watching it because... Of course, they're not watching it because, oh, oh, this offends me. Oh, oh, this is wrong. And I'm like, just stop. You're embarrassing yourself and you're not doing anyone favors anymore you're just you're just stupid i'm sorry to say this but you are like censorship is not okay no matter what form it is like it only it only restricts people uh being creative being creatively free nowadays it's just about you need to make this and that like i want to make a a superhero show 
an action-oriented show about a new superhero. But, of course, people are... Uh, problem with the modern world is the fact that people are gonna complain about, oh, why this girl... Why this main character is not a uh, bisexual, female, gay, lesbian, uh, girl boss, uh, black chick, or whatever. And... Uh, and of course, people are gonna get offended that I make a few villains like uh, LGBTQ or whatever because oh, you are against LGBTQ stuff and whatever. And I'm like, yes and no. I'm not. And it's like people who are gay, they can be whatever they want to be. But the fact that they are trying to push everyone to be just like them is when I have an issue with it. They try to push their own agendas. And they don't care about how their actions can have consequences and how it affects other people. And and what of it if I make some villains gay or whatever? Like they're bad guys. Like it doesn't matter if a character is gay or black or whatever. It's it doesn't matter if they do bad things. That the main character has to stop them. Stop giving these characters like, especially when I have this problem and they. But the modern writers always make these like gay characters or whatever. Uh, especially female lesbian characters. They always try to make them like villains at the start, but then they just give them like sad backstories or try to make them look like victims or whatever. And then in the story, the main heroes are like, oh, I forgive you, despite the fact that you killed like uh, 10, 10, 100,000 people. Like, oh my god, my mouth is getting dry. One of my biggest problems is the fact that uh, they try to make these bad guys look like good guys and that's why we get like the modern version of Harley Quinn or Catra from Netflix's She-Ra or whatever. It's like, stop making like, just because they're, L they're uh, lesbians or part of the LGBTQ or whatever, that doesn't excuse their bad actions. I hate the fact that they do this because, oh, they're just uh, misunderstood or whatever. No, if they have done something that cannot be undone, then they should not be forgiven. Catra, for example, in Netflix, my biggest problem with the character was definitely the fact that she's literally a bad guy. And in one of the episodes, she literally committed mass genocide without any goddamn remorse. And then she's like, oh... Adora, you left me because you you're not banging me. How dare you? You side with the good guys. Uh, you left me all alone. You had like gazillion opportunities, like to, to leave the horde and join Adora and her friends in their on on her journey. Adora even said. Even in like the second or third episode, Adora said how the Ford had been manipulating them, uh, how they lied to them about the rebellion or the princess resistance or whatever. And what Catra says, she says, "Oh, we, I know that. I know what, how horrible the Horde is, but it doesn't matter because that's what we do." Like. How is this a redeemable character? I will never understand. Like, people are trying to defend her because, oh, she's gay, she's a female, or whatever. Like, that's not an excuse. Stop giving excuses. The fact that uh, villains are gay, be uh, just because villain is, is gay or whatever, just uh, their uh, excuse for doing ma mass genocide, destroying people's homes, killing innocent lives, that's not an excuse. I hate this stupid mentality that people have. And... And the fact that I want to make uh, uh, a few vi female villains, uh, lesbians or whatever, they people always go up, oh, you're homophobic, blah, blah, blah. That's my decision. And the fact that you don't like the fact that I'm making lesbian characters actually evil, then, then th th that's your own problem because it's not my problem because I want to be creative freedom. There are, of course, there will be also straight villain, uh, straight villains as well. Stop. The fact that I hate this fact that people always like use the uh, 
oh, they're LGBTQ, that, that, that does mean they're automatically good, they're justified for their actions, blah, blah, blah. No, that's not how that works. Even in real life, you would go, if you are LGBTQ, and if you go on a rampage and actually kill somebody, you're not going to get praised. You're going to get go straight to jail and probably get a death sentence. That's that's how the real world works. And the, and the fact that they don't, these people, especially on Twitter or whatever, on social media don't understand this is is it boggles the mind and now they want to censor things because oh that's not how real woman works literally the Silver blade character is the character model is 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 designed from a real asian woman and when you look at them by side by side they still think they'll still think that that woman, Asian woman, is a child. Are you stupid? This is how stupid the world is becoming. Like, this is... It so boggles my, my mind. And this is coming from a guy who has autism or has had a hard time growing up mentally than physically. And... And the fact that I'm I'm the one making sense over these like crazy lunatics on social media and whatever is 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 uh, is so, it clearly shows that the world is not the same as it once was and I'm afraid what will what the what will further the future will become of us uh, human the human race. Um, I'm sorry if I went off topic or whatever, but. It, it is true, like, it, it it really pisses me off that we live in a time where people have to uh, censor everything, everything must be safe, everything must be politically correct, everything must appeal to the um, small population, the human race, and blah blah blah, and it's, it's dumb, it's so fucking dumb, and of course I'm gonna keep answering because I'm not controlled by YouTube yet, if I... Hopefully I will not get uh, uh, famous. Like for me, fame is not the biggest. Uh, my biggest uh, goal. It's honestly just finding happiness and actual l living a normal life. Uh, hopefully someday I will have share that uh, happiness with somebody else. But um, that I highly, highly doubt that that's gonna happen with how the world is nowadays, especially how women are turning out nowadays. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, uh, hopefully this video is not too long. I hope you guys understand my frustrations with censorship. What do you guys think of censorship? Uh, is it okay? Is it not? Uh, I personally think it's just fucking stupid and it doesn't need to be expanded upon. Uh, like yeah, for some things censorship is okay, especially if you're making stuff for kids or whatnot. But uh, fully, fully embracing it is not all. Uh, is also not okay. Like sometimes, even if, if you make a show for kids, you, sometimes it's okay to actually go all out and actually make something you want and something that can be enjoyed by both kids and teens and adults. Uh, it doesn't matter the age. Uh, it, people can enjoy entertainment how they want it. Just make it entertaining and make it actually good. That's all I'm saying. So, anyways, this is Salomon17, signing off.